The Egyptians claim they don't have any crocodiles in their country. I think they're in denial. <laughs> denial! <laughs> that one from John Jackson. Don't forget, comment your jokes down below. Right, so hello again everybody and welcome back. Today we're going to be taking a look at a few different apps you can use on your Fire Stick that you might find useful. Right, so that being said, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and let's crack on. Right, so first of all, what I will ask is comment down below your favourite Fire Stick app that's not a streaming app. Right, so the first app we're going to look at, and it may make streaming easier for you, or at least finding content, scroll down here, and it's an app called Just Watch. So what you can do inside here is look at all different content. It's going to give you a rating, it's going to tell you a little bit about it, but it's also going to tell you where you can watch that movie or TV show. Now, I have done a video on this previously, and as a lot of you know, it can become quite a ball lake trying to find where to watch different stuff. And I can just click Watch Now on Disney+, Plus, and it'll just take me over to that app, and I'm good to go. Another thing an app like this is good for as well is finding content to watch. So if you're somebody that binge watches a lot of stuff and you run out of things to watch you can come inside here and just have a browse through another app as well that's also very similar to the just watch app is real good now a lot of people do actually prefer this one over just watch but you can try both and see which one works best for you right so next up is an app that you might find very useful and it may increase the performance of your Fire Stick. We've done videos on this previously, if I go to my applications once again, and it's an app called Background Apps and Process List. And once we open this up, I'm going to click on Back, and this is going to show you what apps are running in the background. So, the only apps I've opened at the moment is Just Watch and the Real Good app. But as you can see, there's also quite a few apps that are running and they've started up automatically. So this is quite obvious. It's going to slow your fire stick down because you're running apps in the background that you're not actually using. And to do this, what you can do, click on an app, click force stop, click the back button. It's closed the app and it's no longer running in the background. Obviously, if you're using a VPN or anything, leave that running in the background or you will disconnect from the VPN. Another app you can also use for this is called Def Squid. Now, this is quite a good app because it's got quite a few different things inside it, including a virus scanner. You've got a privacy test as well, where this is going to tell you if your VPN's working. And it's also going to tell you a rough location of the IP address that you're using. And I'm currently connected to IP Vanish, so it's telling me I'm near London. You've also got a built-in speed test inside the Def Squid app as well. This can be very good for people that are wanting to check their internet speeds or Wi-Fi speeds. And it looks like it's using the speedtest.net app. But if we do go across to manage apps, what you're going to see is all these apps are running in the background. And what you can do is click on where it says force stop. And once again, click force stop there, click the back button, and it does the same thing. The best thing about Death Squid is it does include a lot of different things inside it. It's probably one of the better utility apps. And I should say as well, any apps we've mentioned so far are available from the Amazon App Store. Simply go to find, search, and you'll be able to install these apps. So next up is an app that's a little bit different, but a lot of you might like it. We go to the applications once again. We've got an app called Developer Tools Menu. If we open this up, you're going to see it comes up with a few different things here. But the thing we're looking at is System X-Ray. If I turn this on, it's going to tell you what resolution your device is streaming in. The FPS, so currently we'll call it 60. And it's also going to tell you the amount of RAM it's using. And it can be useful just to see if something's overloading your Fire Stick, especially if you're getting buffering or anything like that. Now, granted, not many of you will use the app, but it can be useful for people that want to dive deeper into what could be causing different issues. Right, so another app that's probably the most obvious one in this video is Downloader. Downloader is available from the Amazon App Store once again. But what Downloader does is it allows you to download apps that aren't available in the Amazon App Store. So if I go to let's crack on .org and I click on go, and then I'm going to go to the top left-hand corner to the menu and click on Downloads. If you do get an advert, beauty of watching my videos is, tell you where not to click. Oh, as well, comment down below what you think about the hair. 
I don't know if she's done it a bit too stylish for me. I like a, a rugged look. I don't know. It looks a bit smart, doesn't it? <laughs> so once we're on downloads, you can install loads of apps from here. And near the top, one we spoke about previously is Aptoid TV. But if I keep scrolling down, I'm going to install the app that I'm going to show you next, which is the VPN Safety Dot. Click on this, and then what you see download and do is download and install the app to your device. Follow the install prompts and you're good to go. So the VPN safety dot, a lot of people found this more useful than I expected. I thought it was going to be a video where just a couple of people would be like, oh, that's pretty cool. But a lot of people do actually like to use it. And the reason being is a lot of people that are streaming on their devices like to use a VPN. And what a VPN does, it changes your IP address so... Whichever app you're using can't see your actual location. It helps unblock restricted content, but it also stops your internet service provider being able to see what you're doing and streaming on your device. If you're interested in getting a VPN, I will leave a link in the description down below. So the VPN safety dot, if I turn this on and I go down and across to settings, I've currently got it set as a thumb, but I'm going to change it back to the dot. And as you can see in the top right hand corner, a green dot is flashing up then disappearing. You can make it flash or you can just make it move around. So it stays visible, but I prefer the flashing one. You've got the transparency. So if it's a bit too prominent, you can turn that down. Or if you want to see it clearly, you can turn that up to the top. And they've also got the indicator animation time. So how long it takes to flash. But if I come back home, you can see the green dot is still flashing in the top right hand corner, meaning my VPN is still turned on and working. If at any point my VPN is turned off or loses its connection, what you will see in the top right hand corner is that turns red, meaning I'm now using my actual physical location and IP address. So once again, a lot of you might not use this, but it's very useful to know that your VPN is always working without constantly clicking into the app to see if it's still connected. Right, so another useful app that's also available from the Amazon App Store is called Analyty, and it's a speed test Wi-Fi analyzer. So if I go across to my applications once it's installed, go down and find the Analyty app there, click and open this, and what it's going to do, it's going to show you your ping as well as your download speeds. So as you can see, I'm getting good download speeds. Just bear in mind... This, these results are going to be different for each individual. And what it's going to tell you underneath, you're going to see loads of green ticks or red crosses. And it's going to tell you if your device is capable of such as 4K streaming. So if you're watching something in 4K and you're watching a film and it keeps buffering, it might be because your internet or your Wi-Fi can't handle it. And what you will find is dropping it down to 1080p, it will probably stream a lot better. So this app's useful to see if it's recommended that you just stick to 1080p or your Wi-Fi should be able to stream in up to 4K. Right, so another app, and I'm not going to keep you too much longer now, is an app called Amazon Fire TV. You can find this on both Apple and Android phones. So you can download that from the App Store. And what happens is a lot of people tend to lose their Fire Stick remote or... To be honest with you, you've always got your phone to hand, so you might prefer to do this. Once the app's downloaded and you go into it, it's going to tell you the different Amazon devices you've got connected to your network. Do make sure they're connected to the same Wi-Fi. Once you click it, it's going to say connecting and then give you a code on your Fire Stick, so 4644. And now I can control my Fire Stick using my phone another good thing with this as well is we've got a keyboard so you don't have to type when you're navigating with the directions if i click on the keyboard there what i can do is just start to type in on my phone and you can see it is much faster once again an app that a lot of you might not use but if it's an app you didn't know about it's something you might find useful and then lastly this is like an obvious one as well it's an app called the informer app and a lot of people, they own Fire Sticks and they own Amazon devices, but they don't know what device it is they're actually using. You've got the original Fire Stick, you've got the second gen Fire Stick, third gen Fire Stick, Amazon Fire Stick 4K, Amazon Fire Stick Lite, Amazon Fire Stick 4K Max. 
There's absolutely loads. So whether you're wondering if it's time to upgrade or you're just wondering what version of the device you're using, and at the top, as you can see, it's going to tell you what version of the Fire Stick or Amazon device you are using. So for me, it's showing the Fire Stick 4K Max. Right then, so like I said, a lot of those apps might not appeal to you, but it's one of those videos where it might be... Oh, I've never seen that before, or... Hey, that might be quite useful, it might come in handy, I'll try it. Or it might be one of those videos where you're like... Every one of them are dog shit, why do I want to know that? <laughs> Each to their own, but... It's always better to know the different options you've got. But if the video helped at least two people, then the video was worth making. Right, so that being said, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. I'm watching this, and I'll see you soon. ta -da. Right, so the first app that I think you might find very useful, it may make, it may make, I don't know what I'm saying. Right, so the first app you can use, and it may make, nah, my me. It's running apps in the background that you don't, that you're not. <laughs> right, and if you are still here, thank you for sticking around. I'm going to put you a video up here that I think you're going to find useful. And then I'm going to put you a video down here that YouTube recommends that you watch next. As always, take care and see there.